Hey, it's Mike over at FishYourAssOff.com and today uh, for our fishing class that we're going to do is how to bottom fish an inlet. You know, say you're, say you're up in Jacksonville and the big, uh, and the big black drum are coming in there, you know, uh, to spawn and such. You, you might want to use this kind of rig if you're going to fish for that or if maybe there's some deeper water reds uh, coming in the inlets. Uh, this, is, this is mainly a, 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 a scent based fish, you know, so the thing, the kind of fish that use their olfactory system more so than they're going to use their eyes, you know, so it might be dirtier water or something like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to rig it up to go ahead and do that. So, so if you're bottom fishing an inlet and let, again, let's just say you're, you're targeting reds and black drum. Okay. Um, you know, first of all, your bait, you know, that's a whole crab, but typically what, uh, you know, what you want to do is, you know, cut a crab in half. So it's real stinky, putting a lot of stink in the water, a lot of, a lot of scent molecules and, um, you know, five to eight odd hook, make sure it's a circle hook too. You know, circle hooks are so much more humane uh, than J hooks, especially when you're fishing like this and, and don't use a stainless steel one either. They just don't rust out. So if you actually lose, you know, with a, the hook on a normal hook, a couple weeks, the thing's probably rusted out. So it's very inconvenient and annoying for the fish, but it's not with them forever. Um, but here's the setup. So you got your circle hook, and um, you know this depends on, on on what you're what you're really fishing for. You know, I'll have a setup a very similar uh, to a shark setup. Um, I might put some wire in here, just a real light wire, just in case, you know, it's a real rocky bottom or something like that. So just a little stretch of wire. It's not for the teeth of the fish like it is when you, when you, um, you know, fish, you know, for sharks or anything, but just a little trace, just, just to keep some distance there between, between your, uh, your hook and where your weight's going to be. So you got a three way, uh, swivel there. Come on down, you know, about 18 inches uh, to, to your actual pyramid sinker, um, 6 to 10 ounces, you know, depending obviously on the current and uh, depth and things like that. Uh, so that's up to you. you got to figure that out on your own by the, turret, by the current. Because if it's a new moon or a full moon tide, you probably need more because you're going to get more flow. Whereas if somewhere in between those lunar cycles, you probably don't need as much. And then again, whatever, you know, however big of uh, drums or whatever you're fishing for, you know, those, those big black drums, they might get 100 pounds, 90, 100 pounds in there. So, you know, that's a big, that's a big old piece of mono right there too. Again, just to help you out, just to get these fish in. And then it comes up to whatever you're using. And uh, basically the most I ever use, whether I'm fishing for big tarpon shark or big black drum or anything like that, I use a 80 pound braid on... Um, you know, on my, on my, uh, reel. So that's basically the setup. You know, if you can visualize this in the water too. So you threw it in there, your pyramid sinker stands still. You basically have a crab, chunk of crab doing this in the current, you know, maybe a foot off the bottom, which is right in the, the feeding area for these uh, reds and, and black drum on the bottom. So it's just putting out a bunch of stink, you know, say it's an outcoming tide, the water's kind of murky. So all they're doing is smelling this thing. Get it, reel it in, got yourself a drummer or a red. But that's it. Just wanted to show you, uh, you know, at least the way I do these things. You know, and, and again, you can, you can modify it based on how you do it. You know, say, say you don't even want to bother with this. Say this is the mono and the same as this mono. You know, you do whatever you want. Uh, it just depends, you know, how you want to do it. You can upgrade or downgrade your, your tackle at any point. And that just depends on the circumstances. But this is a great rig for keeping the, the bait right in that uh, strike zone. Because remember, you know, redfish and black drums, they're used to looking down. So, so they're rooting around on the ground, you know, they have those barbels, the, uh, the black drum do. So, so they're looking down a lot. So you want to have it right there because a the fish that's used to doing that, whereas some fish, you know, a tarpon or something, they're always looking up. That's why they got these big, huge eyes. But you can tell, you know, these drums and, and reds, they just have very small eyes. So you can tell that 
their olfactory system is their main way for them to go ahead and find food for themselves. But uh, I think I covered everything I want to cover. Yeah. So until next time, you know, you can also find this stuff on our website too. We have a how to section, a where to section, a what to section. It's www.fisheryassoff.com. Uh, that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.